man. It's dead silent in this room, which is the perfect time to film a video. So now it is currently way past 1 a.m. in the morning, the perfect time <laughs> to do a video, a rehousing video. You know why? Because it is time we rehouse our female. I think this is the male. Are you the male or the female? Yeah, this is the female because the female is a little bit smaller than the male. Our female Pamphobetius mascara, also known as, wait for it, the mascara giant bird eater. Yeah, super original. I don't I don't know, this is not the place where I bought her. I bought her from some other guy. So yeah, today <laughs> we are going to be rehousing this. Well, she's she's big, but she's not going to be looking very big in the enclosure. We're going to be rehousing her. So if you guys watched the hmm, previous, two previous, three previous, right, yeah, uh, a previous video, <laughs> we have, I have mentioned, not we, it's, it's just me on this channel, okay? Me. Yeah, we, no, not we, god damn it, I, <laughs> I have showed you guys this enclosure over here. So this right here, this is uh, Exoterra, an Exoterra enclosure. I'm not sure what it actually it's called, but it's an Exoterra enclosure, obviously. Not sponsored, by the way, come on Exoterra, just yeah, hit me up. <laughs> but anyways, um, we're going to be rehousing her into this nice, tropical, naturalistic enclosure because these guys are from, where are they from? Peru, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. Don't bash me in the comment if I'm wrong. It's just something that I, I'm trying to remember. Peru? No clue. But yeah, anyways, in here, we have got a height which goes very, very deep. Very, very deep in. And also, she has more places to dig if she wishes. And then it is like a tropical floor. We've got some dried leaves, which kind of damp. Yep, damp because maybe it's after the rain or something. And then we have got a nice skull over here. No, it's not real. I don't want to go to, to jail. Yep, I did not kill someone for this. No. So yeah, there's a, there's a random skull over here. And we've got some wood. We've got some um, back here. We've got some coconut husk. Under here, we've got some nice moss to retain some humidity. Some plastic plants over here and a nice big water dish. So yeah, it looks very, very tropical. Perfect for this species. I've also covered a lot of the, I'm leaving some ventilation holes, but I'm going to be covering the majority because this whole thing is pretty much ventilation holes and it's going to evaporate and not retain the humidity as much as i want to so yeah you see under here look at that if i don't cover it all the moisture is going to like and also down here is a pamphobetes antinus the previous owner also put like a, a layer of plastic to like retain the humidity and moisture. Anyways, let's get the tarantula into her new enclosure, shall we? So over here, we have got a deli cup that I took from the kitchen because over here, I don't have like transparent deli cups. I only have those black non-transparent ones, which is not very ideal when you want to rehouse tarantulas because you got to see them when you do the job. So, oh. She's moving. <laughs> now, this is going to be the first time that I see her with the whole lid open. Oh, they're just kicking hairs at me. Come on, girl. You gotta, like, chill the freak out because I'm gonna give you a new enclosure. Are you excited as I am? I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, look at her. Absolutely gorgeous. And while we're at it, let me show you the mail. I just filled up his water dish today. It's Back to empty again. See the moss pretty much absorbed all of the water. But yeah, this is the male. Unfortunately, he is bigger than her. So definitely he's going to mature out first, which is unfortunate, which means we cannot pair them. So yeah, anyways, this is the female that we're going to be moving in. And also the reason is because the males, I'm going to be keeping him in here pretty much this is the original enclosure i got them in these enclosures when i bought them so yeah the females will obviously as to my tradition 
they'll get the nice enclosures. Yep, I'm not sexist. It's just that females, they live longer. Look at my occurity. Yeah, they live longer, so I think they make better display. I do have some mature males in these, and eventually, very, very soon, they are probably gonna expire because I cannot find females for them because they're, they're pretty rare in the country, so yeah. Let's get this girl into her new enclosure. I think she will appreciate that. I'm not sure how she's gonna behave though. Let's see. Come on, girl. You good? Oh, whoa. Well, that's a good sign because she's active. But the thing is, she's she's kicking a lot of hairs. She's kicking hairs. I don't want you bald, girl. Come on. Let's let's. I, I'm I'm gonna be needing my brush. Where's my where's my brush? Got my brush. Wow, she's actually. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, girl. Okay. Chill the... F She's not happy. She's not happy at all, man. This is... Oh my, oh my gosh. This is interesting. This is very, very interesting. Don't go. You, you don't want to come out of your enclosure, do you? Okay. Let me try a different way. She's really, really strong. Now, this different way is... I'm going to not use my brush. I'm going to put this and you crawl onto the lid. You understand? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Very, very nice. All right, so here she is in this thing. And now before we put her in her new enclosure, I'm going to be taking some of her stuff and putting it in there. That way she will sense that those are her stuff and make it like home. Yeah, she can sense that those are her hairs and her web and all. You, you guys get what I mean. Just don't mind my rambling. Sorry. Let's get some of her original moss. Just put it in for her. Get some of her soft Oh man, this is a bad idea. Probably gonna feel itchy after this. Formicta, not pamphobetes. I always get confused with these two. Don't judge. <laughs> so let's sprinkle some of her substrate in here and I think we should be good to go let's get her in i don't want to make this video too too long okay come on girl let's go this is time for you to shine well that actually rhymes time for you to shine you're gonna have a nice big burrow over there are you ready girl ready let's oh man let's freaking go oh man she is not happy she's still kicking hairs at me <laughs> Oh man, stop girl, just stop. Oh my gosh, oh, she's kicking hairs. Do not breathe in, do not breathe in. Okay, let's put this over here and let's get her. Can I get my, my lid please? Can I please get my lid without your hairs flying onto me? Yes, thank you. Oh, I'm probably gonna like, I don't know, gonna feel super itchy tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna close this before more of her hair start flying out at me. Cause that will not be good. There we go. So there she is. Sorry if you can hear the... Yeah. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, she does not look big in this enclosure, but she will slowly, eventually, sooner or later, grow into it. And I think it'll look pretty darn cool. So yeah. That'll be it for this video guys, I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned for the next Tarantula feature on this expensive Tarantula series. Yes, it's gonna be a interesting one because me, myself, I haven't really looked at the Tarantulas in depth as well. So I'm pretty sure they'll be interesting for both you and me. So yeah guys, I'll see you in the next video. Let's take care and yeah, hopefully we'll be able to feed her in a near future video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, stay safe, and have a good one. Peace. Fast forward to the future. I'm actually editing this video right now. Remember what I said at the start of this video. So now it is currently way past 1 a.m. in the morning. The perfect time <laughs> to do a rehousing video. Boy, was I wrong. I had a sleepless night because the hairs, they were so itchy. I was just... Oh my gosh, that was the worst time to do a rehousing video.